bought it so we can part it out and use the components in EVSR and other projects in the shop. But uh, the truth is, I'm going to be sad to take it apart. It um, drives nicely, it's smooth, the power comes in nicely, regen works. I, I don't know, I mean, it's really a nice little piece. It's quiet, it's comfortable. Uh, much like the EVSR as compared to gas counterparts, the weight is all very low and in the center of the vehicle, so where a van like this, this is a full-size, long wheelbase cargo van, and it's it feels very planted in the corners. Um, it goes on for days. It's team colors. I don't know. I mean, if we had even the slightest use for this thing, I'm all in. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't quite fit our program, and we did buy it for the components. But yeah, what a great ride. I don't, I don't have a bad thing to say about this. Um, it's interesting because I haven't sat in anything with a Fiat badge on it in a long time, which is where the van was derived from before it got electrified by Zenith Motors. But I like it. I like it a lot. It's a really nice truck. Basically, in, from the interior and from a functional standpoint, it's just like any other large shuttle van. Um, it's got, I believe, about a 225 horsepower power unit in it. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, um, but it's uh, it's got electronic pumps for power steering and, and brakes. Um, it's uh, it's really a, just a regular old truck, except that it's powered by batteries. And uh, it's surprising how transparent it is, how the only thing you notice about it is what you don't notice, which is the noise. It really you know, looks like a truck, drives like a truck, feels like a truck, must be a truck. I like it. I like it. I want one. Oh, I have one. <laughs>